Welcome. Today in basics and clinics, we are going to see about the movements of eyeball. The eyeball can move along three different axes, longitudinal, horizontal and anteroposterior. Along the longitudinal axis, the eyeball can move towards the lateral wall of orbit called abduction or towards the medial wall of the orbit called adduction. Along the horizontal axis, the eyeball can move towards the roof of the orbit called elevation or towards the floor of the orbit called depression. Along the anteroposterior axis, the 12 o'clock position of the cornea. Note down, this is the 12 o'clock position of the cornea which can move towards the medial wall called intorsion or it can move towards the lateral wall called extorsion. So these movements of eyeball are brought about by a set of extraocular muscles. These extraocular muscles are four recti and two oblique muscles. The four recti muscles are superior, inferior, medial and lateral according to their origin from the annulus of Zinn which is a connective tissue ring surrounding the optic canal and the superior orbital fissure. And these muscles insert into the sclera of the eyeball. These muscles insert into the sclera of the eyeball just anterior to the equator respectively into the superior, medial, inferior and lateral aspects. The two oblique muscles are superior and the superior oblique originates from the body of sphenoid along the medial wall of the orbit. It passes along a trochlea and gets inserted into the posterior aspect of sclera just medial to the insertion of superior recti. The inferior oblique originates from the anteromedial aspect of the inferior wall of orbit and gets inserted into the posterior aspect of the sclera just posterior to the lateral recti. Now let us see about the movements brought about these muscles. The superior recti, elevation, adduction, intorsion. Medial recti, adduction. Inferior recti, depression, adduction, extorsion. Lateral recti, abduction. All recti muscles are adductors except lateral recti which brings about abduction. Superior oblique, depression, abduction, intorsion. Inferior oblique, elevation, abduction and extorsion, both oblique or abductors. These muscles, the lateral recti is supplied by the sixth cranial nerve abducens nerve. The superior oblique is supplied by the fourth cranial nerve, the trochlear nerve. All other muscles are supplied by the oculomotor nerve or the third cranial nerve. These muscles, these cranial nerves have origin from the midbrain and the pons. So from their origin till the place where they supply, if they get any lesion, it will be seen in the movement of eyeball. A lesion in the abducens nerve results in lateral rectus palsy and medial squint. A lesion in the oculomotor nerve results in medial rectus palsy and lateral squint. These will be dealt in detail in the further clinical sessions. For more anatomical basis, subscribe this channel. The next discussion will be on larynx.